my name is David Lessard. I'm a partner and design director uh, at H plus A, uh, a recently launched uh, boutique design practice focusing on healthcare, hospitality, what we like to call lifestyle residential projects. So the launch of H plus A was really sort of commensurate with uh, various factors. Both my partner Stas and I had really both come to points in our careers where we felt like we hit a little bit of a plateau, that we gave all the emotion and sort of energy that we could give uh, to a larger studio, which both of him and I are from. We also came to the realization that the most important thing to us is the work. We wanted to create this opportunity for us to focus on the work day in and day out, meaning getting our hands back on the tools, getting back into the sort of design methodology and ethos, which you tend to lose, uh, all of us do, uh, as senior people in larger practices. I would also say as well that him and I have become sort of specialized in our respective fields uh, and really developed this sort of reputation on being these kind of go-to people, let's say, for not only design, but also just general advisory work. So Stas from the healthcare perspective, myself from the hospitality perspective. And we saw a real sort of opportunity to take these two and sort of combine these energies and really exploit those synergetic opportunities that are really focused on the guest, wellness, user experience. Uh, and there was a real gap uh, in the markets, let's say, for this type of thing that was hyper-specialized uh, and something that uh, you know, no one has really managed to do uh, successfully, in our opinion, uh, which is kind of what led uh, to that launch. And so, you know, interestingly enough, uh, one could argue that from a sort of supply and demand point of view, there are plenty of beds for hospitals, plenty of keys uh, for hotel rooms. Uh, but this, to us, was the opportunity. Why? Because it is no longer this volume, supply, and demand game that clients are playing here. It is really clients that want to go into the market with a differentiated product. And that differentiated product really needs expertise and specialized sort of force behind these to do something that is unique and, and really sort of stands out amongst the competition, uh, quote unquote. And uh, it's kind of clients that have, you know, more so than anything else, led us to that decision. They wanted more access to us, they wanted to work directly with us, uh, and in larger firms for the types of projects that they had in the sort of pipeline, it wasn't well suited to that and that's kind of led us to, to where we are today. So since the uh, firm's conception in arguably January, February, I think was this sort of media launch, although we've been working for quite a bit of time before that and our founding partner staff was really um, you know, hitting the ground running with a few significant healthcare projects before I brought in uh, the hospitality work. Uh, and of those significant healthcare projects, we're doing the first proton beam therapy clinic in, in Abu Dhabi for the GICC, which is really um, a sort of revolutionary technology in oncology and, and cancer treatment. Uh, bringing that technology to the Middle East really opens up a whole sort of a plethora of opportunities for medical tourism and, and sort of wellness. Uh, we've picked up a few uh, hotel projects as well. We're doing a boutique hotel in Sri Lanka, which you know was very interesting for us that some of the more immediate opportunities are exporting uh, our knowledge from uh, Dubai in the healthcare and hospitality sectors. So that was really refreshing to see that translating so seamlessly and so well and so valued actually because we've been so Middle East centric uh, for, for so long and I think one a really interesting opportunity for us as well is being the consulting architects uh, on Downtown Design 2018 this year and that I think is a little bit of a testament uh, as to our approach to design that uh, we are no longer sort of in these larger practices focused solely on, on large scale projects but now we are sort of back on the ground as it were in the design community and hands on uh, into sort of influencing and, and promoting and collaborating with these types of clients. Uh, as a small practice, it's natural that we're starting with small projects. Uh, however uh, interesting these small projects are, they are a sort of gateway to what we all want to be working on as uh, larger, more high profile projects. Uh, and I can say with confidence that both in the healthcare and hospitality sectors, uh, we have a really interesting pipeline uh, coming up and we couldn't be more excited to be doing those projects and based here in Dubai doing it.